Hello beautiful people, what is up? I am in my bathroom again because today I wanted to show you both my hair and my makeup routine for like when I'm actually doing the whole shebang. So like when I film, obviously I do all of this and then uh, like if I'm going anywhere basically out other than work, this is definitely my routine. Um, I've already put on some lotion. I'm using the L'Oreal Collagen Moisturizer. So I've had that on. And then I washed my hair and it's been sitting in this towel for like 30 minutes so it's definitely like already only damp. I'm heating up my hair straightener and then I'm using a blow dryer first. And I kind of mess around with both of these two curling brushes. I just kind of mess around with both of those until I get it nice and dry and then I will come through with my uh, straightener and do some curling. I'm going to put on some Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair on here though. This is by Aveda. I got this in a um, Fat Fit Fun box. But I'm going to put some of this on it. I'm trying really to like keep my hair nice and healthy even though I am like regularly bleaching and dyeing it. But I don't dye, I don't um, blow dry my hair, well I don't wash my hair every day, and then I also don't blow dry my hair every time that I wash it either. Sometimes I will let it air dry. I just think that when I air dry my hair, it gets pretty flat. So with the blow dryer and then the straightener to curl it, it makes it have some more volume. So that is in my hair now, and let's get started with this. process. The drying process is really just to get it dry so that putting the heat on it from straightener doesn't make it, you know, sizzle. <laughs> um, but that's not really like the styling aspect of it. So we're just going to start straightening it. By that I mean we're actually going to be curling it. So I definitely like my bangs to be really Voluminous. for like specifically curled even I just want it to be not straight <laughs> it's kind of where I'm going so I like don't get all the pieces I just want to have some wave in there basically so that's everything for the hair part now we're gonna go do my makeup but I need to change my battery first so be right back I do my makeup in front of my mirror and if you were to come around right here this is where my makeup is so I will show you all of it in just a second. This is where I keep most of my makeup. If I moved this a little bit, there is more back there. Um, all the stuff on the left, I use a lot less often, and then the more closer you get to this side, the more I use it. So here are my brushes, and then back here is like a little box that I put my dirty brushes in. Everything is fresh right now, so I don't really have anything in there. Um, so these are very full. 
And then I've got my, my go-to of my face products all right here, as well as all my lipsticks and then my mascara and stuff. And uh, that's more lip glosses in the back. And then this little pile here are all eyeshadow palettes or blush palettes. And then I also have my standard face products right here too. Like I have my Urban Decay back there. I've got some all-nighter spray, my um, foundation setting powder, stuff like that. So that is everything. I keep it hidden in my closet. So I'm going to use my Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Paris um, foundation. And I did just recently clean my brushes and put up a video on it. So if you're interested in knowing how I clean my brushes, I do have a video up. Um, most of my brushes are either Sigma or Morphe. So I struggle with acne and like oily skin. So I am definitely preferential to a matte look. Um, so I know like it's really in right now to use highlighter up the ass. Not me. I'm not doing that. Because it just makes me feel like I look oily. It looks good on other people. But for me, no thanks. I also really struggle with the dark eye circles. Just like all of this is darker than the rest of my skin. It's something that my whole family has and they tend to get darker with age. So I have so much to look forward to. But to combat with that and with the acne issues, I like this brand, which is Revlon. I'm all about saving the dollar. So if I can find a good brand that isn't expensive, I'm going to use it. Um, I do some brands that I do like that are a little bit more pricey. I really like Urban Decay's matte foundation. Um, I use that on like special occasions. Uh, it's this one. The Urban Decay All Nighter. I like this one a lot. Um, it's not the right color for me right now, but I only use it, like I said, on special occasions and stuff, and I'm actually almost out. I've had it for almost two years now. I will be doing my, like, evening routine for how I take my makeup off, as well as, like, what products I use for everything um, coming up soon. So, especially for the acne and stuff, if you're interested in that, that is coming. So, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll do that later. This is one brand that is pretty expensive. Laura Mercier, um setting powder. Uh, I actually got this for free though from a influencer campaign so I'm into that. <laughs> but when it goes out it, I am starting to run low. I really love that it's not set and that it doesn't really have a lot of color because I noticed that a lot of other setting powder that I've used it has like a whole color so then it just looks really caked on um, and I way prefer a slightly more natural look than that. I'm using the Hoola Benefit um, contour. I also really like Elf's contour, um, but I had this. Um, I've had it for a little bit now. So I'm trying to finish this up. And then NARS Orgasm. I really love this blush. I definitely have other blushes that are cheaper. I have like a little palette from Morphe that's a blush palette. I like it too. I just, I really love this orgasm one. It's the only thing I don't use that's matte. So it has like a little bit of shiny in it. And I'm a fan. And then I'm using NYX's Eyebrow Duo. And I don't use the gel at all because I think it looks weird. Like it makes your eyebrow hairs like hard. And I just don't like it. Um, I'm also not a huge fan in, of, like, the, it's, like, really in right now to, like, look super 
like perfect like squares and I don't love it on me. I also really need to do my eyebrows. really been loving this palette right now. It's the Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. I got this in the FabFitFun box too and I've been absolutely loving it. I've been loving the combination of the spiced caramel with bread pudding and mango pudding together and then I've also really been loving the butterscotch with the almond jelly and warm cocoa together. That's what I'm going to do today. I absolutely love this palette so much. key component is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I freaking love this liner. If NYX ever goes out of business, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I really love this liner. So this is how I get my cat eye. Um, so a lot of people ask me like how I get my cat, my pointed liner so like straight and honestly it's just like <laughs> practice. Don't like the pens. I, I think that they don't give you enough control um, but I do know that some people can make a really nice pointed liner like that. Um, I actually started with gel which is in my opinion, it's one of the most difficult ones because it's a little bit harder to control like the product on the brush <laughs> so that you don't make it too thick. But I find that if you use a clean brush and you actually rinse your brush after each time that you use it, you can really get a beautiful line with those. Dude, I don't even want to mess with this right now. I switched over to the liquid liner because I was finding that I wasn't using the product fast enough and so it kept drying out in the little pots and so I just thought that it was wasteful. I'm gonna go with a little pink today. And that's that. And that is my hair and makeup that I do pretty much any time that I put makeup on. Um, I am starting a new job so I will be able to put makeup on like it, it'll work better with my schedule than the 7 a.m. trying to put makeup on. So hopefully I will be utilizing my little collection a little bit more often. But this is definitely how I do my makeup when I film. Um, my lipstick changes and obviously like the palettes aren't always the same. But a lot of that is pretty standard like the foundation and everything. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and also make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. I also have a channel all about books which is always linked down below if you're interested in reading with me and I will see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!